Great to have a referee on board today, because you've got to have someone to abuse. <laughs> or educate, as I say. I like to educate referees. Um, no, Jack. The What I do want to talk to you guys about, or want you guys to think about, is um, the value of the referees to the game. So, what's your approach? And some people can give me their feedback here. Um, what is, what's your thoughts on um, approaching referees and how how you would deal with referees? So I think about open level communication is important, but considering too much strength and respect, if you're barking at tomorrow, I expect the champion to say, "Settle down, you know, we'll be heading." But you know, it's just that communication and respect. And other thoughts on dealing with referees? That's that's an example. Yeah. Of, that's a common one. That's the yeah. one that we actually get yeah. most. I've had some guys play for me recently that have come from overseas and something that they do there, which we don't as a general rule do here, is introduce themselves and shake hands with all the referees before the game. I know some clubs and stuff, yeah. they might do it, but religiously, like I've had some French guys in America, and they will come out face to face, look them in the eye and shake hands with the officials and thank them. The same way, even if it's a frustrating game or they lost, yeah. you know, they would religiously do that. And it's like if you're part of the association, just getting to know the officials, like, I do business with some of my referees, like there's just, you, you get a lot more out of it that way, you still get frustrated, you still pull yourself out of them and everything, but just being able to establish some sort of rapport with them. As a group of coaches here today, you can have a cultural approach at Seahawks or wherever you coach to actually um, acknowledge the work that the referees do, because it is tough. I don't understand the mindset of referees, but I appreciate what they do and that they do it. Um, because it's, it is tough. I mean, who really, who here has refereed actually? Has anyone here actually refereed? I've refereed and thrown a whistle at a parent and that wasn't a good <laughs> Alright, so I've walked in the other shoes and told them I'd never do juniors again and I went and ref social women's back in the day. And I was only refereeing for fitness. That was why I was doing it. So that's, that was the aspect. But I can tell you it can be frustrating when you, every time you run down that court, you got some parent barking like they know better than you. Now, which brings me to the next thing, knowing better than you. Who here has ever read the full rule book of, of basketball? Hands up. All right. So this is my philosophy behind refereeing. You don't drive a car without learning the rules. So unless you've read a rule book, which these guys study, do you really have a good foundation to go and bark at every call? Yes, we understand the rules, but these guys are learning it from a different angle, and we really, as coaches, unless we absolutely know every situation, I mean, they don't get it right all the time, but as coaches, we don't get stuff right all the time. So my argument is, is learn as much as you can of the rules. I sat referee courses. Um, I believed when I was younger, I haven't sat in referees course for a long time, but I do engage in the referees to try and develop my knowledge, FIBA, you know, produce, actually the, the rule book, which is quite exhaustive, but it's worth, it's very confusing as well, that's why the, the practical and the, the trying to apply in writing any number of situations that could occur in a game. And then we're asking referees in a split second to make a decision based on what they saw. So my philosophy is this, the referees know with me as a coach that if they, if I say what was that or why that, if they turn around and say to me that's what I saw, I wear it. The reason being because their angle of what they saw was different to the angle that I saw. Now, who here watches the NBA? Right. Tell me how many video reviews we have in the NBA where we thought it went off someone's hand and they've got 24 camera angles and they're replaying all the different camera angles and it all looks like, no, it's come off Brian. And then they hit that one camera angle where, oh, gee, no, it didn't. It came off LeBron. And we're asking these guys to make a decision in a split second when sometimes the video refs don't even, can't even call it. You know, so 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 my, my, my approach is this: let coaches coach, let players play, let refs ref. You'll make mistakes as coaches. By God, I can tell you, I make a million every time I coach. Um, it, it just happens. You make poor decisions because you hit the flow of the game. 
players will make mistakes, how you deal with that as a coach is up to you, and um, how referees ref is part of their education too. They're, we're all human, we all make mistakes. Um, yes, we can feel like they can cost us a game sometimes when you're battling two teams instead of one, but you've got to learn to overcome that. And as, as a coach, and you have to, the way you present yourself, you've got, particularly with younger kids, the way you deal with the refs teaches them how to deal with the refs, even though you're not technically teaching it. So I think most people here, I'd be very surprised if you didn't appreciate what the refs do um, and you didn't approach them the right way.